on a day-to-day -day level I quite like routine so I'll walk the dog in and then generally I kind of like to get on with looking through pictures and contact sheets and looking at images thinking about images it's a good space to be able to think creatively which is quite important to me I've never done any scarves before. Because of that, it's been really exciting when I'm waiting for the samples to be sent over from Italy, kind of unpeeling the box and waiting to see what it looked like. One of the first ones that I picked was Dancer in Blue. This one was some pictures I was taking of a dancer as she came off the stage and she's having a break. You can't see her face, but it's still a very strong pose and very personal. And then the lights changed, so there was a really strong wash of blue. It made it perfect, I think, for this edition. I wanted them to have a bit of an energy to them, a sexiness. I came across a picture I took a long time ago of a friend in, in fishnet tights with some pointy kitten heel shoes on. That looks quite graphic and strong and it's the same kind of thing, it's like you don't know whose legs they are. I want the viewer to be able to look at the image and kind of wonder what the story was behind it. A lot of it is about thinking about subjects to approach to take pictures of. So a lot of it is sort of building relationships that way. When I'm doing my more personal work, I usually shoot film. I have an old Leica R7 that is quite sentimental to me. When I told my mum I was going to become a professional photographer, this is the camera that she gave me. I also always have a little camera in my bag so that if I spot something, I can photograph it. Because a lot of the pictures that inspired me to become a photographer are those very spontaneous images that you kind of just are always looking for. I was backstage at a friend's gig and this girl came into the dressing room and that was what she was wearing. She had these little cowboy boot sticker tattoos on with the chains. The scarf manufacturer I was working with, he showed me samples of these really beautiful woven scarf blankets, um, which then instantly made me think about this series that I photographed last summer called Paris Nude, which is a very personal kind of intimate study I did where I went to stay with a friend's wife, just followed her around her apartment for a couple of days, taking pictures of her. So two of those pictures are now woven into that. It works really well tonally. When you turn it around, it's got more of a negative, so that was quite fun. That's the kind of thing I would travel with. It's so versatile, I'd probably use it as a pillow as well. I'm quite nostalgic about scarves. It makes me think about being a kid. When I think of them and I think of memories, I feel like I'm quite young and my parents are sort of swaddling me up to take me out into very cold weather because we spent a lot of time in Scotland and um, Liverpool and New Year's, that kind of thing, so kind of cold winters. So I, I like being well wrapped up and having my neck covered. So I'm really happy to work with something where I can kind of show my photographs, but I feel like it's a great outlet, a great way to sort of show pictures, but also it's kind of very wearable.